you're addicted to watching porn and masturbating to it nowadays or isn't. But maybe you've seen the overwhelming scientific proof that porn addiction is harmful to your well-being and as a result, you would like to quit. You want to give the NoFap challenge a try. But first, let me paint you a picture of what's going on in your brain. There's a pain and pleasure lever in your brain and watching thousands of hours of porn had been pressing the pleasure side of this lever. The more pleasure you wanted to feel, the more the side of the lever is pressed. But as a defensive mechanism, your brain will try to balance this lever. In an attempt to balance this lever, your brain secretes chemicals that will sort of counterpress on the pain side of the liver. And the more porn you watch, the more pain chemical your brain secretes. And over time, as a baseline, this pleasure pain liver gets skewed to the pain side. This is why the porn addict becomes numb to porn over time. He also becomes numb to the little pleasures of life that energizes us and makes us happy. And this is why the baseline emotions of the porn addict is usually boredom, depression, fatigue, nauseation, and all those nasty emotions that nobody wants to feel. And it's these baseline emotions, which are residual effects of the pain chemicals that your brain is secreting in the first place, that will again push you to seek pleasure from porn. And this vicious cycle will continue until you break that pattern. But you should know that this liver works both ways. If you press the pain side of the liver, your brain will also secrete pleasure chemicals to balance the liver. And with time, this liver gets skewed to the pleasure side. And as a baseline, you're left with pleasurable emotions like serenity, confidence, joy, glee, and all those beautiful emotions we all love to feel. So, one interesting way I look at NoFap is see it as trying to rebalance this pain pleasure liver. You're trying to remove the dopamine pleasure you usually get from porn so that your brain reduces the chemicals on the pain side of the liver. If you think of healing or rebalancing this liver as your long-term goal of NoFap, there are habits that can help you press on the pain side of the liver so that you trick your brain into secreting pleasure chemicals so that your liver becomes skewed towards the pleasure side as soon as possible. What I've been talking about is usually referred to as dopamine rebalancing in some circles. I learned about this liver analogy in a book called Dopamine Nation by Dr. Anna Lemke. It's a very good book that I recommend to anybody that's trying to do NoFap. I will link the book in the description below. When you deliberately press the pain lever in your brain, you're exposing yourself to controlled pain. And here are five habits that will expose you to this controlled pain so your body secrets more natural pleasure chemicals so that in the long run, you won't need the artificial pleasure from porn anymore. 1. Do dopamine boosting workouts regularly Working out is painful. Working out consistently is much more painful. But as painful as working out can be, if you can power through the pain, you get rewarded with pleasure chemicals. Because you've put your body through pain and have repeatedly pressed the pain lever, your body secretes feel-good chemicals like endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, BDNF, and all that. The idea is that if you stick to working out, your baseline feeling starts shifting to the pleasure side of the liver. And when it comes to exercising for feel-good chemicals, researchers have shown that the best form of exercise is high-intensity interval training exercises, otherwise known as HRITs. These workouts have been scientifically proven to release endorphins and dopamine. The good part about these exercises is that most of them don't require equipment to do. You can do them immediately from the comfort of your home. I will link an HIIT routine I've been doing almost every day for the past 4 years in the description below. You can check it out and see if it's a routine you like. 2. Stop aging In case you don't know, aging in itself is a habit. And this is one habit you're better off not doing at all when you're on NoFap. Aging is bringing yourself to the brink of orgasm and stopping just before you ejaculate. What aging does repeatedly over and over again is it keeps pressing on the pleasure side of your brain lever. And this actually slows down the dopamine rebalancing you're trying to achieve. When you hedge, you're chipping away at the benefits you're supposed to be getting on NoFap. Your pain pleasure liver is nowhere near rebalancing and your brain will keep secreting pain chemicals. So make it a habit to stay away from aging in whatever form it might appeal to you. If you stop aging in the long term, your pleasure pain liver will quickly get rebalanced. 3. Take cold showers regularly 
After a game or a demanding training session, it's now a common tradition for top athletes like David Beckham, for instance, to dip themselves in an ice bath. The claim it helps them to recover faster, boost their testosterone levels and improve their mood. But why does cold shower does all these things well? Well, if you think about it, cold showers in cold weather is a form of controlled pain that you're exposing your body to. When you take a cold shower, you're pressing the pain lever in your brain and your body will want to counterbalance this lever by secreting the feel-good neurotransmitters and hormones. Researchers have found that cold showers activate the sympathetic nervous system and release both endorphins and serotonin. These neurotransmitters have been found to elevate pleasure feelings when they are secreted. In the context of NoFap, most people's failure to complete the challenge comes from an inability to deal with deep-seated emotions of shame, depression, loneliness, and all those nasty emotions nobody likes to feel. So, they eventually use porn as an escape, not to face those emotions. But if you make cold showers a habit and do it like 3-4 to four times a week, you will notice that your pleasure baseline starts shifting up and up, and with time, you will find that you don't need the pleasure from porn anymore. Also, cold showers come in handy when you're no fap and you have a strong urge to take a peek at porn. In the book The Dopamine Nation I talked about earlier by Dr. Hannah Limke, she talked about a client of ours that used cold showers to cure an addiction to drugs. This type of controlled pain, if applied in the right dosage, can help you to stop relapsing on no fap. 4. Meditate regularly If I told you to sit still for 5 minutes and do nothing, can you do it? Be honest. Sitting still and doing nothing has become a very difficult feat to achieve in today's world. With all the technologies and the connectivity we have nowadays, people are finding it hard to sit alone with their thoughts day by day. The boredom that accompanies the five minutes of sitting alone is dreadful to a lot of people. But sitting in the moment in that boredom is a form of pain you're exposing your mind to because your mind would rather be somewhere else, doing something else, doing something fun. This is the reason why the research is showing that when you sit through the bottom of meditation, your brain rewards you by pressing on your pleasure lever and secreting neurotransmitters like dopamine, endorphins, and so on. A study on long-term meditators found that the dopamine pathway of the long-term meditators studied is clearly different to those that doesn't meditate. The researchers found that the dopamine in the brain of the long-term meditators are 68% more than that of non-meditators. So, if you're already a person that meditates, stick with it. But if you don't meditate and you're doing no fab, I highly recommend you to start meditating. The impact of meditation on no fab can be ignored. It helps a lot of people to complete their no fab challenge and deal with a relapse on no fab if it occurs at all. So. Find a place quiet to sit, calm your mind, focus on your breath or a mantra or a singular point on the wall of your room. You will get distracted by your thoughts, it's normal. Just come back to your point of focus if you notice you've been distracted. 5 minutes of this, 5 minutes of daily meditation is enough to rebalance your pain pleasure lever. Believe me when I tell you that meditation will work wonders for your state of mind. 5. Get a word without porn It takes some people a lot of relapse on their nofap to figure out that nofap isn't an easy thing to do. If you keep relapsing, that means you need help and you need to take it seriously. You need to prepare for your next nofap challenge and start your nofap in the right way. If you don't do this, you may keep relapsing. And when it comes to getting help on how to beat your porn and masturbation addiction, there are limited resources out there. One thing I can recommend is the Award Without Porn course, which is a comprehensive guide that has everything you need on how to beat your porn and masturbation addiction and never ever go back to it. From blocking porn on all of your devices for free to boosting your willpower tremendously, this course has everything you need. The course even teaches you how to get an accountability partner for free. You also get meditation and hypnotic MP3s that subconsciously rewires your brain to be successful on NoFap. And since NoFap is not only aimed at quitting porn, there are other resources in the course that helps you succeed in all the other areas of your life. 
After getting the course, you'll notice that NoFab becomes super easy for you and you'll stop relapsing to porn and masturbation. Let's do a quick recap of what we've talked about. So far in this video, we've talked about 5 habits that can help you quit porn in the long term. And these habits, if you stick to them, will help you to rebalance your pleasure pain liver quickly, since this liver is what's been driving your porn use in the first place. The habits are 1. Do dopamine boosting workouts regularly. 2. Stop aging. 3. Take cold showers regularly. 4. Meditate regularly. And 5. Get a word without porn because you need it. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more insightful nofap videos like this one. See you in the next one.